Hi, I'm Lindsay Bugby, and today we are going to talk about reconstituting dried up bottles of ink. Somebody emailed me the other day and she sent a photo of three bottles of ink with totally crackly, dusty, dried up ink inside. All of the water had evaporated out. And she said, hey, you probably don't run into this problem, but what can I do with these inks? And in fact, I do run into that problem. I had no less than six bottles of ink that were at various stages of evaporation and needed reconstituting and experimenting with. So I grabbed all of them for this video. You can see from my hands that I've been playing this afternoon. And I want to talk a little bit about the results that I got. So as you can see, all of my bottles of ink were able to be revived. No matter what level they were at before, I just added water, and I used a blunt art syringe to put that water inside of the ink. And then I used a chopstick to mix it up. Higgins Eternal Ink. That really did pretty well. It was super dusty. You probably can't see uh, since it's so dark, but it just turned into its nice velvety self. I got really good results there. And then I had my walnut ink, which was just like these chunks, dried up chunks. And now it is an ink again. It's still a little chunky on the inside and, you know, mixed it up with a chopstick. The results were pretty good, little darker than I would have liked. And I wonder too, if this sits a bit longer, if the, the chunks in there will soak up more of the water and incorporate into the ink better. And maybe I just need to add more water, but all in all, pretty good results here. Iron gall ink, I was really curious about because um, I had been messaging with Simon Rouse who makes TPK's iron gall ink. And he said, well, you know, you can't reconstitute iron gall because you have oxidization, you have rust, you know, like just the chemical composition completely changes. And be that as it may, I did add water to this and I got a liquid that one would call an ink. I mean, it, it clearly stained the page enough to be an ink. Obviously it's not as dark as maybe we would like, but I actually really like it when you can get these really light strokes and then you have sort of a, a contrast with dark strokes here. So I would use this again. I think it is very usable after adding some water to it. Uh, Ziller, I have reconstituted before, so I knew that this would work. It reconstitutes beautifully. It was not uh, completely dried up. I've never had Ziller turn into just a dry cake of ink, but it was extremely sludgy. So all I did was add some water, um, put that water in there, and then I've got this that wrote beautifully, and I bet it's waterproof, yep. So Ziller is great for reconstituting. This Lumiere by Jacquard, not my favorite for reconstituting. I think I could have played with it just a little bit more, maybe, you know, mixed it up better, but it's not my favorite ink to begin with because it's just so paint-like. So the upstrokes were very, very thin. Um, they were like translucent in a way that I don't love. It was difficult to make hairlines too. You could just tell that the water and the ink hadn't combined super well. So I don't think that I did a great job adding water back into this ink, but I think it can be done for sure. And then the Dr. PH Martin's turquoise, that was really interesting. And that was the most surprising to me. I thought that the water would just really revitalize the tur turquoise and make it, you know, such that it's back to normal essentially. But what I found was the ink stayed really super chunky. And then I was just kind of left with my water here, which was dyed blue. And that worked out for me because I was able to write with it. And it has kind of a cool watercolory look. Um, sorry, I'm just 
wiping off my chopstick here. But just for comparison's sake, I recently did a bird in the turquoise and you can see that this bird is nice and dark, but this turquoise really becomes quite light. So it is almost like drawing with a watercolor. The, the chunky ink dyes the water blue and you can write with it, but it's not restored to its former glory like the Ziller is. So after this little experiment, here are my tips for reconstituting your inks. First of all, if you have an ink that seems like it is simply beyond hope, try reconstituting it with water. Why not? I mean, if your choices are the trash or, you know, attempting to save it, try to save it. And if it doesn't work out, you can always just throw it in the trash anyway. Secondly, use distilled water. I normally use tap because I really trust the water quality here in Boulder. I haven't had a problem with my inks molding up or anything, but just for quality, I would go ahead and use distilled if you have it around. In a pinch, you can use the tap water, but officially I'm recommending that you use distilled water. And then finally, I think the biggest question that you might have is, well, how do I know how much water to add? So for my iron gall, I only had a little bit of iron gall ink there crusted up at the bottom, and I tried to add about as much water as there was um, crusted up ink in there. So if you have very little ink, add very little water. But then for the Lumiere, I had a lot of ink, and I ended up adding I don't know, I'm gonna say probably two teaspoons of water to this and that wasn't enough. So then I put in maybe another teaspoon, another two teaspoons, stirred it up, and at that point I was able to write with it. So just eyeball where your ink is at as far as hydration levels and I would shoot for, if it's completely dry, then you say, okay, I've got this pigment that is totally, totally dry. I'm going to add just as much water as I have dried pigment in there. But if your ink has still a little bit of moisture in it, like my Ziller did here, you won't have to add as much water. So just add some water, stir it in, test it out, and keep testing and adding water until it reaches a consistency that you're happy with. I hope that this video encourages you to experiment with any ink that you think might be on the edge. As I found here, I would have told you that the Higgins and the Iron Gall were beyond hope to write with. Obviously that's not the case if we go through these examples here. So any ink that you have that you think, eh, that, that's too dry or whatever, add water to it, mix in the water and see what happens. I suspect that you will be able to revitalize the ink enough to use it and hopefully you'll be able to enjoy it for many more years to come. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.